السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ رب اشرح لي صدری ويسر لي امری واحلل عقدۃ من لسانی یفقهوا قولی ویلکم بیک ٹو برادرز اینڈ سسٹرز الحمدللہ وی ار ان ٹو اور کلاس 2 فرام بک 2 سو ان دی پریویس کلاس وی جسٹ لرنڈ اباؤٹ ان اینڈ ان شاء اللہ ٹوڈے وی گوئنگ ٹو ریوائز ا بٹ مور اباؤٹ ان اینڈ لرن فیو مور اسپیکٹس ان شاء اللہ سو گوئنگ ٹو Today's lesson, today's lesson is on inna, zu and am. So we're going to learn about these three. So we know inna is a harf tawqeed wa nasbin. Means it's a particle which is used to emphasize the whole sentence and it also gives nasb to the mubtada. And it always comes in jumlat al-ismiyah and we know that jumlat al-ismiyah has mubtada and khabar. So what happens when inna enters? What inna does is it changes the mubtada into ismu inna. That's all happens. So nothing else. So and the khabar remains khabar. So inna makes the mubtada into ismu inna and khabar into khabar inna. And the khabar remains the same. And the ismu inna will have a mansub. So that's why it's called harfu nasbin. So the khabar, just to remind you that we did touch that there are five kinds of khabar. So let me give you an example. For example, if I say hamidun talibun. So here hamidun is mubtada and talibun is khabar. It is one word. So when it is one word, it is indefinite and it is marfu. So if you say hamidun fil fasli. So here fil fasli is jar majru shibu jumla khabar. So it's another fragment. <coughs> Let's say Hamidun, <coughs> excuse me, Hamidun, Amam al-Mudarrisi. So Hamid is in front of teacher. So Amam al-Mudarrisi is Zarf Mudaf ilayhi. It's another type of khabar fragment. And Hamidun, Zahaba ila al-Masjidi. So here, Zahaba ila al-Masjidi is a jumlat al-Fa'liya. And this jumlat al-Fa'liya is coming as a khabar for Hamid. And the last type of khabar what we have is Jumlatul Ismiya. So where in itself it is have Muqtada and khabar. This is where the things become more difficult when you have long sentences to identify which part is the khabar for which part. So here for example we say Hamidun Akhuhu. So his brother is Tabibun. He's a doctor. These are the types of khabar. which will remain khabar. So what happens when inna enters? So if you say hamidun talibun will become hamidun talibun. So hamidun will become hamidun skits and mansub. So hamidun fil fasli will become hamidun fil fasli. Inna hamidun fil fasli. Hamidun amam al mudarrisi. Inna hamidun amam al mudarrisi. Hamidun zahaba ila al masjidi. Inna hamidun zahaba ila al masjidi. And finally, Hamidun Akhuhu Tabibun. So it's Inna Hamidun Akhuhu Tabibun. So this is uh, just a quick revision. So inshallah we'll go to uh, so another thing is so the noun which the Inna gives Mansub, the Ismu Inna may not be immediately after Inna. So we've learned that Jar Majru Shibu Jumla Khabar or Zarf Shibu Jumla Khabar can come early like a khabar muqaddam and there can be mubtada mu'akhar in which case the ismu inna will be far more behind let me give you some example from the quran so i will say inna fi khulqi samawati wal ard wa ikhtilaf al layl wal nahari la ayat li uli al albab so what do we see here if you see here immediately after inna we have fi it is harf jar So we know that harf jar can never be a mubtada. So it is a khabar muqaddam. So what type of khabar it is? Jar majrur. And there is a chain of mudaf mudaf ilahi and mautuf. So fi khalqi samawati wal ard. So in the creation of heavens and earth. So again waw ataf waqtilaf al layli. So again this mautufun ala khalq. Is in alteration of layl is night and nahar is day. night and day is la-ayatin so we're looking for a mansub noun mansub is so we know ayat is a plural for ayah and they are 
and the pattern of Jama'a Mu'anna Salim. So we know the plural, the mansub form of Jama'a Mu'anna Salim is Ayatin. So if it is Ayatun, Ayatin, Ayatin. So this Lam, La, is another type of emphasis which you're going to learn later, inshallah. It's, uh, it's a double impact which you cannot translate, unfortunately. So, in fi khulq samawati wal ardi wa ikhtilaf al-layl wal nahari la ayatin li ulil albab for the people of So, we're going to go to our main lesson now, inshallah. So, here we're doing lesson number one from book two. So, it's a conversation between a student, Hashim, and a teacher. So, Hashim says, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. So we've learned about this uh, analysis, so we're not going to do it again. So Al Mudaris is saying, Wa alaykum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Hashim, kaifa haluka ya ustaz? La allaka bi khair. So kaifa haluka? So we know kaifa halu and ka because it is addressing a male, so it will be a ka and ya ustazu. So harfanida will have, let's have a. Uh, a noun after it will have a single dhamma so we know it's not ustazun it is ustazu and la'allaka so with this this one la'alla means hope and fear and in here it means hope i hope you are fine be khair so hashim is saying so teacher is replying al mudaris alhamdulillah wa kaifa haluka anta ya hashim and he's telling so whenever you uh, reply so you give an emphasis we say wa kaifa haluka ant so anta or anti depending on the gender or uh, ya hashim ana uhibbuka see ana uhibbuka uhibbu we have not done this type of verb we'll do it later inshallah which means uh, i love or i like so uhibbu ka is mudaf uh, not mudaf it's mafulun bihi it's ka means you ana uhibbuka i love you kathiran ya hashim I like you a lot, Ya Hashim. Inna ka. See, Inna ka. So this ka, Inna, harf taqeed wa nasbin. Ka is ismu Inna. So where is khabar Inna? Is talibun. So Inna ka, talibun, zakiyun. So what is zakiyun here? Is a naat for talibun. So most definitely you are a intelligent student. Wa Mujtahidun. So wow ataf and mujtahidun is mawtufunala. Zakiyun is a naat. Again, is a hard working. Wa zu khulukin. Zu khulukin. So what is this zu? So we're going to learn today. Zu means possessor of. The meaning itself is possessor of the, the one who has the quality. So that's the meaning. So if you see here, so the so itself has the embedded meaning of possessor of. So we know anything after of is a mudaf ilahi. So after zu, so there should be a mudaf ilahi, which means zu will always comes as a mudaf. It will always comes as a mudaf, and there will always be a mudaf ilahi to explain more about zu. So the other nouns which we learned that they're always mudaf is ayu and kullu. So we did in book one, ayu and kullu. These are the nouns which after which there will always be a mudaf ilahi and zu is also among one of those. However, the another speciality of zu is that it's among asma'ul khamsa. So if we just remind ourselves, asma'ul khamsa, five special nouns. It is abun, akhun, famun, hamun and zu. So zu is part of asma'ul khamsa and what is the speciality of those that when there is marfu and when they are become mudaf the mar sign of marfu will be wow and the sign of mansub will be alif and the sign of majur will be yeah so this is uh, because zu is always mudaf you will always see wow as a sign of marfu and alif as a sign of mansub so that's about zu so here the teacher is asking Amin Pakistan anta Amin al Hind ya Hashim. So we have to understand again here. There's a new word here. Am. So what is am? Am means or. Means or. So there's another word which will means or, which is au. So what is the difference between am and au? Am is used in questions. So if you want to ask, are you from 
India or Pakistan. So it's a question. So it's, we use um. And if you're making a statement, then you use or. Give me this or that. So you're making a statement. So in that you use ow. And um will always come in question. So most of the time you will see a as a beginning of the question. So if you see here, amim Pakistan anta. Am min al hind. So normally, if you see, or in English language, if you have to say, we say, are you from Pakistan or India? So the nouns which we are two uh, comparing, they come one after the other. So are you from Pakistan or India? However, in original or classical Arabic, in the pure form of Arabic, what will happen is the nouns, like uh, if you're telling, are you from Pakistan or India? So the first question or the first noun which is being compared will come after a so say amim pakistan anta amim pakistan anta am min al hind it's not a anta min pakistan am min al hind that's wrong so it will be amim pakistan anta am min al hind so this is the correct pattern of speech so here say Amim Pakistan anta am min al hind. So if you see here, between Pakistan and Hind, so we have a separator. So they come a separate. So one is immediately after a, and the other, other will come after am. So Hashim replies, inni most definitely I. So inna plus ya mutakallim because of ya, then the fatha turns into kasra. So inni. Minal Hind, most definitely, I am from India. Al Mudra is asking, Wazamiluka. See, Zamiluka, Mudaf, Mudaf ilahi. Zamilu plus ka is Damir Muttasil. This here, this ka is Damir Muttasil, it is a majroor form. Whereas here, the Damir Muttasil is a mansub form. Is a ismo inna, and here it is Mudaf ilahi. Wazamiluka, Allazi. So here again, here, Sulatul Mausul, which is coming as a north for Zamilu. And Silatul Mausul will have a Isma Mausul will have a Silatul Mausul. Sorry. So Allah is the Isma Mausula and we're looking for a Silatul Mausul. And Kharaja Ma'aka Al An Min Al Fasl. So this Kharaja says a Jumlatul Fa'liya. The whole Jumlatul Fa'liya is coming as Silatul Mausul for Allah. So the teacher is asking, and your colleague, the one who left with you now minal from the class allazi kharaja ma'aka minal al'an minal fasl huwa aidan and again is a question here a harf istifham huwa aidan is he is he also minal hind is he also from india hashim says la inna hu see inna plus hu is Ismo inna and mim Pakistana. This is a mamno mina surf. Pakistanu will be Pakistana. Inna hu mim Pakistana. Al mudaris. Inna saataka. See, saa means watch. So saatun is watch. Saata ka. Why ta? Because it's coming as ismo inna. It's mansub. So why this one fatha? Because it's becoming a mudaf. So you cannot have tanween. And ka is mudaf ilahi. So in saataka jamilatun. So this is khabar. Khabar in jamilatun. Ya Hashim. Most definitely your watch is very beautiful. Ya Hashim. Amin al Yaban here. Is it from Japan? And Hashim replies La innaha min al Hind. No, it is from India. So again, indeed it is. So why ha? Because saatun is a monas word. So inna ha ha is a ismo inna. Min al hind is jar maju shibu jumla khabar. So al mudar is aghaliyatun hiya am rakhisatun. See, aghaliya and rakhis. So is it, if you translate what we say is, is it cheap or expensive? So we'll use both together. So with or as a connector here, the connector will be separated between uh, two words so aghaliyatun here aghaliya means expensive is it expensive or cheap rakhisatun so Hashim says innaha 
Indeed, it is Rakhisatun Jiddan. See, it is Rakhisatun is the Khabar, Khabar Inna. And what is Jiddan? Jiddan is a Mafulun Mutlaq. So, we're going to do it later, inshallah. So, it is very cheap. So, it just give a more intensity. So, indeed, it is very cheap. Innaha. Indeed, it is Bimiatin Rubiyatin Fakat. So, it is uh, 100 rupees only. Fakat means only. So, Al Mudis asking, Kam Akhan Laka Ya Hashim. So, we have come here again. So, what comes after come? is tamiz so it is singular noun indefinite mansub so it says kam akhan laka ya hashim how many brothers do you have ya hashim so hashim says li i have so jar majwa shibu jumla khabar muqaddam so li thalasatu ikhwatun so i have three brothers thalasatu is again uh, mubtada muakhar wa huwa mudaf and ikhwatin is mudaf ilahi so it's number three to ten it is a combination of mudaf mudaf ilahi. Al mudaris atullabun hum are they students? So he says Hashim says la inna hum tujjarun. See, there is a plural form stajirun and tujjarun fu'alun. The pattern. So we should be able to recollect all these things. So al mudaris I say wa kam uhtan laka and how many sisters do you have? So again uhtan is tamiz. They say li arbau akhawatin. So now we know it's after arbau is always mudaf ilahi. It's not akhawatun, it is akhawatin. Li arbau akhawatin. So al mudarris afil hind hunna al an. See, hunna means is asking about akhawatin. So they, feminine. So are they in India now? Hashim will say la inna hunna. See? Inna and Hunna is Ismu Inna Mansub. Hunna is Zarf. Now, most definitely they are now Bil Madinatil Munawwarati. They are in Madinatul Munawwara. Ma Abi wa Ummi with my father and my mother. So here we have two words Mudaf, Mudaf Ilahi. Abi wa Ummi. So that was our lesson. So where we learned about in, zu, and am. Um. So we got one more sentence left. Sorry, it says uh, about sisters, atolibatu hunna. See, tulabun is ma uh, muzakkir, and tolibatun is muannas jama muannas salim. Atolibatun hunna. Hashim says la inna hunna. So indeed they are mudarrisa. What will come here? Mudarrisa tun, because it is khabar. Inna hunna mudarrisa tun bil madrasa til. So here this is jar majur bil madrasa til sanaviyati. So this is uh, is a majur and naat in the middle school. They are indeed they are teachers in the middle school. So today we have learned about inna. We've learned about Zu. Zu is a possessor which will always comes as a mudaf and it can also come as a naat as well. Uh, the most uh, example we what we normally read in dua is Ya uh, Zal Jalali Wal Ikram. See, Za means it is a mansub form, is a possessor of Ya Zal Jalali Wal Ikram. So that's about Zu coming as a mudaf and Am which is uh, means or. So we have a separator. A uh, and um, so the two nouns get separated. So one comes after a uh, and another comes after um. So inshallah, we will continue in our next lesson. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.